Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, January 28th, 2022. By golly, we just can't seem to get a relief rally going here. We uh, had a nice little pop yesterday, um, a big gap up. Um, everyone was pushing and pushing and pushing to the upside and then uh, we started that reversal back down another bearish reversal at price resistance so leaving us with some questions for this morning so how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Boy, I tell you, it's been a rough week of volatility. Um, another plus 500 point swing in the da uh, Dow yesterday um, with this volatility continuing to add more and more pressure uh, to the market. So yesterday we were looking at that potential relief rally and the day before we were looking at that potential re relief rally only to have those hopes kind of dashed pretty heavily um, with selling that came in strong uh, toward the end of the day in you know j probably just a worry of the Apple earnings report but here's the problem that we have now now we face a, a situation where we could actually be failing at price resistance and actually see a test of Monday's low coming into sight. We had futures last night respond very bullishly after the um, Apple report, but unfortunately that has reversed and we're seeing European markets um, decidedly bearish um, today, um, adding some pressure to the overall situation here in the market. We also have new news out of China that China uh, real estate crisis continues to escalate, um, adding some pressure over there. So my goodness, we had we're going into this weekend with the uncertainty of these earnings that continue to come in mixed. We have a hockey shred. Um, and the ramifications of what that might mean for stock valuations um, to look forward to. And we have that possibility, that uncertainty of a Russian invasion as tensions continue to grow over there um, on the border of Ukraine. So we've got a lot of uncertainty heading into the weekend and it may be um, a bit of a tough ask to um, want to see much of a rally here on the day just with those things coming into play. So let's take a look here. What have we got going as far as price support? If we look right across here, we have a pretty good price support in that chart. And you can see it extends over into here. And we certainly tested through that and bounced off of it. And if that doesn't hold, then I would suspect a retest of Monday low, Monday's low could be possible. But if we can hold here, if we can prove to, to stiffen up just a little bit, then we'll want to be watching for that little bit of a relief rally to maybe begin. And we're going to now have to look at this area right here as price resistance in the Dow because we have failed there a couple times here in recent price action, um, just unable to get moving back up there to the, to the upside. So watch these levels closely. And if those uh, bears really have um, something to grab onto today. I don't think we can rule out that possibility that we retest these lows. And what would be the concern is if we retested those lows, will that low hold? And could we actually fall right through that? Um, if that were to occur, it could be a pretty ugly day. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also having that problem here yesterday, selling back off and actually a little bit more pressure here on the SPY. Um, my bull put credit spread here is still working. I still have a uh, positive um, uh, gain in that trade, but I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit concerned that that possibility that we could go ahead and push on lower. And as you can see in the pre-market candle there, we certainly have some reason 
for concern with um, that bearish candle coming in here this morning and that reversal of the overnight futures uh, pushing back down. So if we can cannot hold in here, then I have to look at this chart. Um, if we don't hold this support, then the next level of price support is likely to be tested here in the SPY. If we can get uh, some bullish inspiration in the market, I'm going to have to use this area right now as a price resistance point because we continue to struggle with that level in the chart. So pretty ugly situation here to start off a Friday morning. We usually kind of hope for a good Friday, but mm, might be a little bit challenging here today. So stay on your toes and stay focused. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ also pushing down and even with um, that good um, report from Apple, we're not getting um, a, a very good follow through here um, on that chart. As you can see, we, re we rejected this level right here in the chart. And I know a lot of folks were really hoping, and I kind of was too, that um, if Apple reported well enough that we could catch that relief rally and get things going, but certainly not the case here this morning, at least. That may change as the day goes on. But what I want to point out here is this is what a, a rather significant level of price support that we ended up losing on um, Friday's af Friday afternoon as we sold off into that and we're extending that here today. So I have this bull book credit spread right here on um, the NASDAQ and I kind of think there's a very good chance that could be tested and I may have to close that trade down because we easily could set new lows here in the NASDAQ today. If we do find reason for that bullish hope then I'm going to be looking right through here for that next price resistance level. That's where we need to break through and, and maybe start to begin a bit of a relief rally, but it just may not be in the cards today. Let's take a look at the Russell. The Russell, boy, the Russell gave it up big time. I had laid this one out. I laid out a credit spread on this, but I haven't taken a credit spread on this. I'm looking for that relief rally. Um, and so this is not an active trade, but take a look here. We're continuing to sink and we have this little bit of price support right in here in that chart. But I got to tell you, if we push on down through this level right in here, notice there isn't a whole lot of price support in that chart until we come all the way down in here into that 160 area. Uh, 162, 163 area of the chart. So um, IWM not looking very good and showing bearishness here this morning as we continue to extend lower. Um, pretty ugly situation uh, to begin a Friday morning. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Our VIX ended up the day, we had a little back and forth in it, but we ended up the day still closing up there around the 30 handle. That's really telling us that that fear continues to be pretty strong in the market. And we could potentially see that spike even higher today if those sellers really take over. If we start to capitulate a little bit here in the market, um, then we could really see this spike um, considerably higher. So watch carefully here on the VIX. Obviously, what I want to see is I want to see a little bit of a relief rally, but it doesn't seem like we're just quite ready to do that yet. I'd love to see us kind of pulling back and um, finding um, finding some support in um, in that chart and maybe testing some resistance levels in the indexes before we continue um, the downtrend. But I'm not seeing um, not seeing anything in that chart that's suggesting we're ready to do that just yet. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 indicator is definitely showing us an extremely oversold condition. So I still have to lean to that hope that we're going to get a relief rally and perhaps, you know, maybe we've been gapping up in the morning and um, and reversing to go down. Maybe today we do just the opposite. Maybe we gap down at the open and then we reverse and maybe begin that relief rally. I don't know. But I just think that uncertainty of the weekend um, is going to keep folks on the sidelines and say, you know, I'm just not going to jump into risk heading into this weekend with those uncertain things out there. So watching this area right in here, 
Um, we're certainly oversold. We sh we could at any time begin a relief rally if we can find some bullish inspiration. And there may be something on that calendar today that can give us some of that bullish inspiration. But just keep in mind as we head toward the close of the day, that uncertainty um, of the weekend may rule and we could see um, um, another wave of selling. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2108. I got to tell you that this, the picture just continues to get more and more dismal with only 17, almost 18% of our stocks holding above the 40 day moving average. That's an extreme condition here in the market. Lots of bears running around out there and they are feisty bears. So pushing on down, we could easily today with this um, selling, push into lower lows here in this chart. So obviously a pretty ugly situation here at the moment and those bears continue to run roughshod over those bulls at the moment. And then if we take a look at our T2107, oops, T2107, the percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average continues to weaken. Now we're in a situation where uh, we've got more than 75% of our stocks below the 200 day moving average and um, well looking lower. Now we have been much lower before. Remember this was the pandemic sell off. So uh, we could certainly get much, uh, much more bearish, but I would expect a relief rally before we really tumble a whole lot more, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe today is the day um, we kind of just pull the plug on this thing. I don't know. So just keep a close eye on it. Let's take a look at um, our T2101. T2101 started to pull back just a little bit yesterday with that bullishness early in the morning, but unfortunately we continued to, to extend out as those sellers ended up dominating the day. And we continue to break these levels, holding support levels, breaking through additional levels here in the chart as that fear kind of picks up on that selling momentum here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, we have a few things here on the calendar that could move us around and perhaps they can provide some bullish inspiration, but at the same time, they may um, continue to inspire the bears. So first off, we have personal incomes and outlays. And what we have seen in this number recently is personal incomes are not keeping up with the rate of inflation. So we need to see that starting to perk up here and growing a little bit. We'll want to watch that one pretty closely. It's obviously a market mover and coming out before the bell could either improve or worsen the situation that we're looking at um, at the open today. And then let's take a look. We have um, employment cost index here this morning. We'll want to watch that. And this one here, one of my favorite numbers out here to really let me know how consumers are feeling, that consumer sentiment number at 10 a.m. Um, might want to watch that one pretty closely because we are pretty low in that number. And if it continues to weaken, that could really signal some weakness of our consumers out there. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, um, a little bit lighter day today on that earnings calendar. We've got about 60 companies, just, a, uh, just under 60 companies listed on the calendar today, but there are not as many um, um, confirmed reports. Um, so we have a little bit lighter day. However, we can expect some price movement as a result. One of the things that's creating the bearishness here this morning is Caterpillar. Caterpillar re reporting and you can see it looks like it has disappointed. And I suggested this to the members of Right Way Options that there look, could be a little bit of trouble with this today because we have that real estate problem in China and Caterpillar is very, very tied to China and all that real estate development. And um, obviously we have some problems here and maybe um, a little bit more selling could come in here on Caterpillar. And when you look at Caterpillar like that, you also have to kind of take a look at John Deere and Cummins. 
um, they may see a little bit of pullback today on that earnings report. And then we've got CVX, CVX reporting, and it looks like CVX is pulling back a little bit. This thing has been on a tear with oil and gas continuing to extend to the upside as um, the Ukraine-Russia situation puts pressure um, on that um, on that um, a commodity. So watch that closely. Uh, BAH um, reporting today, and obviously, oof, there's a big miss um, right there, um, looking pretty ugly here this morning. Um, Charter, Charter Communications um, reporting today. We've got Colgate Palm Olive re reporting today. We're going to hear from um, Phillips. Phillips 66 today. We'll hear from them. We're also going to hear from Warehouser this morning. If you want to catch the full list of notables, guys, click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. And, and um, you can get that full list every single day. Keep in mind, guys, as you think about the week ahead, we're only going to ramp up on the number of earnings reports. And the way they're coming out so mixed, we could probably expect this volatility to really keep us on edge as we look forward into next week so watch that closely let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be helpful to be worthy if you could please click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and, and thank you so much to everyone who does do that and I also just want to give a big shout out to those folks that that continue to support the channel with the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video as well you guys are awesome um, I never in my wildest dreams we're approaching 26,000 subscribers I never in my wildest dreams would have expected um, content that didn't include a whole bunch of hype or a whole bunch of prediction would gain a lot of ground but it certainly has and, and I owe it all to you guys so thank you very much you humble me every day and I do truly appreciate it Let's take a look at some stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and work pretty carefully with the volatility of this market because anything is possible here. Let's take a look at a stock in Altria. Now, I, um, I picked up a position here in Altria yesterday and I'm not recommending this stock at all but what I was looking at in this stock is we've broken out of this really big long downtrend here and we had this little shorter downtrend and we're holding um, that up right now on this weekly chart in support we just got past the earnings of um, Altria and this has a really big dividend yield in the chart so I nibbled on this chart a little bit to pick it up um, but I got to tell you, with the volatility and the uncertainty going into this weekend, I'm probably going to see uh, some losses on this before I get any kind of gain. So um, watch that closely. But I do think there is a little bit of opportunity here in this chart that could be setting up if we can push on through to the upside. Take a look at some of the casinos out there. We've had some pretty good buying that came into casino casinos and now they're pulling back. This is an interesting pattern in here on Las Vegas Sands. Um, notice right in here, this nice little um, higher low in here where we broke through that resistance in the upside, but we've been struggling in this area right in here. So this is something that you're going to have to wait for the setup on. But what I want to uh, point out here is that if this continues to range around, in that area sliding out here toward the trend, then there may be some opportunities for an upside move in Las Vegas Sands if it can push on through there. And I have been seeing um, some you know, internal buying going on in here. So this range 
where we've got that internal buying going on, there may be a setup coming. Just watch that closely. You might also want to keep a close eye on some of the defensive sector stocks. Now, Coca-Cola tried to get moving yesterday, ended up reversing. So this may be off the table here for a while. They were trying to get something going here reversing and now pushing lower here today. But we want to keep an eye on some of these defensive stocks because they really have seen quite a rotation into them. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, folks looking for some safety, some dividend yield. So keep a close eye on those. Take a look at MDLZ. Uh, Mondelez had a good day yesterday, but here again, we had another report last night after the bell. And that obviously um, looking pretty bearish here this morning, looking for a pretty big gap down. So a lot of swings going on, a lot of whipsaw, things that start to look like they're setting up and then they completely reverse, um, making it a very, um, a very, very challenging uh, market to trade. However, there are some good signs out there in the market. Take a look at VALE. VALE, nice little chart moving up in a trend, looking to that upside, might see some upside uh, pushing on through on that. Now, on the short side of things, um, you might want to take a look at stocks like Home Depot. Here's a pattern that um, looks pretty darn bearish, if you ask me. We pushed up into this resistance. We're failing along the downtrend here in um, Home Depot and watching for that potential that this could now move on down in that chart. So take a look at Home Depot. That's a pretty ugly chart. Um, Lowe's doing the same thing where we pushed into a resistance level in the chart. Can't seem to gain any ground following a downtrend. I would watch for maybe some potential failure patterns. And these are pretty big moves that uh, to seek out those next levels of price support in the chart. So a little bit of both sides here in the market. And even though I know a lot of folks would like to say this has got to be over, you know, when you see sell-offs like this, um, AMD pushing down into this price support, that's pretty ugly, and if we were to fail that level, that's going to really cause some um, concern here in the market. Now, having said that, pushing down into big levels of price support, we wanna be watching these charts if we happen to get a relief rally, if we start to see a little bit of push back by the bulls. So keep an eye on that. We've got stocks, a lot of stocks in oversold conditions that could start to present some opportunities, but I wouldn't want to predict the turn. I would want to wait until that turn shows itself. Now you might be able, if you're an option trader, you might be able to do a little speculation with some bull put credit spreads, things like that, but I would still be very, very careful heading into this weekend. Bid ask spreads are wide, volatility is high, making those very, very challenging on their own. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. Be very, very careful out there. I, I can continue to expect overnight reversals and big whipsaws into next week, just because of the volatility of those earnings. So take care, trade wisely, and we'll see you bright and early. Monday morning. Wish you all the best this weekend.